Good morning, and thank you all for staying up with us at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. And this morning at 1.47 a.m., NASA's Space Launch System rocket and Orion spacecraft lifted off from Kennedy's historic launch pad 39B. Orion's on its way, and it's just beginning its mission. It's successfully completed a number of mission milestones so far, including the translunar injection burn to put it on its trajectory to the moon. I was standing on the roof of the LCC with a number of astronauts, and uh, I'm telling you, we've never seen such a, a tail of flame. Uh, there were a bunch there that would like to be on that rocket. Uh, and I have to say, for what we saw tonight, it's an A+. It's a test flight. Took a long time coming to get here. Uh, last time we were on the moon, Apollo 17, and we still have a long ways to go. And this is just the test flight. Today we got to witness the world's most powerful rocket take the earth by its edges and shake the wicked out of it. And it was quite a sight. It's quite a sight. Mostly that this, is, this system is performing exactly as we intended it to. Um, we've had a few funnies along the way. We had some dropouts in the flight instrumentation on the, um, on the SLS rocket. We've had some funnies and some um, um, in the uh, star trackers, and then we had some funnies in some micro switches on the solar ray wings, but the systems are performing and, and we are pressing outbound toward the moon. Going outbound, we're going to be testing both engines, our main engine, and of course our auxiliary uh, set of engines as well. So that'll be very important as we do all these correction maneuvers and the big burns. And of course the thermal environment that we're going to see in deep space is going to be uh, always going to be a challenge and, and uh, we're going to correlate our models and get the data that uh, we need from all our sensors. Lunar injection burn. That'll come up a little later, which is a longer burn. Another firing of the RL-10 engine on the